Our next park countdown is Carowinds, located in Charlotte, North Carolina. This park has 14 roller coasters. I rode 13 out of the 14. The only coaster I didn't ride was Wilderness Run since I was too tall, so I will not be adding that onto the list. But this park has a great lineup of roller coasters. This park has a variety of roller coasters too, ranging from small coasters like Woodstock Express to huge thrilling rides like Fury 325. There's going to be something everyone is going to like. So let's start the countdown. Before we head into the top 10, here are three roller coasters that missed the top 10. Ticket number 13 is the Carolina Cyclone, and I thought this ride was awful. I didn't like this ride getting off. It was rough, tons of headbanging, even keeping my head forward. I came off seeing spots. I thought this was better than the defunct Canopy Corkscrew, but it's still one of the worst roller coasters that I've ridden. But I do like the appearance of the ride. I like how each part of the ride is painted a different color. Ticket number 12 is Kitty Hawk. I also didn't like this ride either. It's a Vacoma suspended family coaster, so it's something like Freedom Flyer. However, I just didn't like this ride. I do think there is padding towards the restraints, and the padding is uncomfortable, so the padding did ruin the ride experience. It's also a really rough ride. Ticket number 11 is Ricochet. This is, this is a wild mouse. I thought this was okay. There's some bad turns to the ride. Other parts were fun. It's just a wild mouse, and I'm not crazy about these rides. Start Starting the top 10 is Vortex. This is a B&M stand-up. I didn't like it, but I didn't think it was that bad. I heard really bad reviews going in and getting off. I was kind of surprised. It was a little rough, but there wasn't bad headbanging. I did keep my head forward to reduce the headbanging, so if anyone is trying to get a credit on Vortex, keep your head forward. Take number 9 is the Carolina Gold Rusher. This is an Aero Mine Train. Rides like these, I'm not crazy, just like the Wild Mouses. It was alright, but definitely not outstanding. I like how it has a few lift hills, though. Take number 8 is Woodstock Express. This was really fun for a family wooden coaster. You do get some pops of airtime. It's definitely a ride the kids will like. And take number 7 is Flying Cobras. This is my favorite Vacoma Boomerang. This ride has the vest restraints, which makes the ride 10 times smoother. I didn't think it was rough either. I wish more Vacoma Boomerangs had the vest restraints. Ticket number 6 is The Hurler. This wasn't bad at all. I thought this was fun. I heard mostly bad reviews about this ride going in, and when I got off, I was surprised. I thought most of the ride was smoother than rougher. Starting out the top 5 was another surprise. It's Nighthawk. This is a Vacoma Flying Dutchman, and I thought this ride was fun. This is another ride I heard bad reviews, but when I got off, I was like, yeah, I actually like that. I also did ride the defunct Firehawk, and I thought both of them were the same. I didn't find one to be as rough as the other. Ticket number four is Copperhead Strike. This is a mock rides launch coaster, and this is such a unique ride. First up, you start out with a Heartline rule out of the station. The theme is really cool. For theming-wise, it reminds me of Mystic Timbers, but for layout-wise, it kind of reminds me of Hydra the Revenge at Dorney. This ride doesn't go that fast, so I do think this is a good ride for families. However, I do think you slow down a lot, especially in tall elements. Like, in some inversions, you do get a lot of good hang time. I, and I do think this ride is more focused on hang time than speed. Ticket number three is Afterburn. This is a B&M Inver, and these rides are always fun. It feels intense and compact. It's low to the ground. This is my second favorite B&M Invert that I've ridden. The, th the, th the theme is also cool, too. Ticket my number two is Intimidator. This is a B&M Hyper, and this ride you can't complain. B&M Hypers are always fun, and this ride has a lot to it. The layout is great. You get tons of airtime. This is my third favorite B&M Hyper that I've ridden. This ride would be number one in the park if Carowinds didn't have my number one in the park. And coming in at number one is no surprise, it's Fury 325. This massive B&M Giga, this is one of the craziest roller coasters I have ridden and it definitely deserves all the hype. I got two rides on this, one ride was in the front and that might be one of the best rows on any ride that I've ridden. 
The layout is fantastic. I love how it, it passes in the... I love how it goes throughout the front of the entrance. The tunnel is sweet, too. And I just wish I had we had a ride like this here in New England. So that will, that's going to do it for my top 13 roller coasters at Carowinds. Let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree and form your own list. Follow me on social media. Links are in the description. Subscribe for more Coastimonium videos, and I'll catch you guys later.